us to help each other in a monetary way. And so the offering is going for uh, CVCA student aid, and that's a very worthy cause because a lot of our young people can't seem to be able to go. But maybe the money that you give today can help them. That'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? Okay. Good morning, boys and girls. I want to ask you a question. How many of you like cats? Me too. I've had two cats, one that lived 16 years and one that lived 14 years, and I just lost her in March. So I feel sad, yes. But the story today comes from an old book of mine. You see, it's really starting to Get, get torn and worn. That's the way books do. I got this book when I was nine years old. And actually, it's one of many best in children's books. And what I really liked about it is that all the titles of the stories are at the back. They're also in the front and the inside back. So I can find what I want really fast. And I wanted to find Aesop's Fables. How many of you know who Aesop was? Yes. Would you like to tell everyone who Aesop was? Yes, Amy. Oh, okay. Mm. I should have come up to you. <laughs> Could you hear any of that? Yes. And the reason why I chose one is because I love the fact that he tells a very short story. He loves to use animals. And um, there's always a moral to the story. Does anybody know what a moral is? What's a moral? Come close to me, stand up, and then, then you can be kind of. There's always a lesson in the story. That's right. A moral of a story is a lesson in the story. Wonderful. I didn't know anybody would know that. I'm very proud of you. Okay, so our story today is about a cat who loved to chase what? Who? Who did they love to chase? Mice. Does anybody like mice? No, I do. They're so cute, aren't they? I know we're not supposed to really like mice, but I don't. I think they're one of God's creatures, so I think they're here for a reason. Yes. You want to stand up and come close to my mic? You have to come up to my face, kind of. Okay. One time I sold a mouse at Dorcas, and 
and my friend Andrew picked it up with this wooden thing, and and we took it to his mom, and he said, and his mom said, for for us to put it it where in a safe place. Where in a safe place. That's right. Well, I have only so many minutes. I'd love to hear all of your ideas about mice. I'll tell you that, but. All the mice decided, and the title of this is The Mice in Council, which means they said, we need to have a meeting because this cat is chasing us around, and it's scary. We want to go home to our families, and we don't want to be scared by that cat. So they decided to have a meeting, a council. And they said, you know what, we've got to do something to control this cat. And so they all decided that, as one mouse said, um, we need to get control of this cat, and so why don't we, see if I can ring it a little louder. Let's see if we can put a bell around the cat's neck and when the cat thinks he's being quiet, he can't help it, you know. And it'll make sounds, and then we'll know. You want to ring it? Okay. <laughs> we, we'll know when the cat's around, and we'll be safe. Okay. Okay. All right. Go sit down for me. Thank you. All right. Yeah, so I used to have a bell collection, and I have not near as many bells as I used to have. But this one was kind of... Kind of made a good sound, if you can hear it. And so they, oh dear. Well, the mice have to help each other just like us people do. And so we put the little ribbon in there. Anyway, the idea is, can't do it right now. But let's do that until a wise old mouse said, you know, it's going to be a little hard to do it, but who's going to bell the cat? And all the mice were really scared. How were they going to go up to the cat that was scaring them and um, put tie the bell around his neck? And so even though it was a good idea, nobody really wanted to do it. And the moral of this story, the lesson, is it's one thing to say something should be done, but another thing to do it. So when you're faced with something that, you know, you want to help do or you want to do it by yourself or you have a suggestion, but you're a little afraid, remember Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Can you repeat that with me? I'm going to say a couple of words and you repeat them. I can do all things that, and how does it end? How does it end? Through Christ, who does what? Strengthens me. And you know, it's really true. Sometimes I'm shaking in my boots when I have to do certain things. That just means, am I really wearing boots when I might be scared? No, it's a figure of speech. Okay, so you know what to do now. If you have a good idea and you think, oh, I don't think I can do it, but remember to ask God that in the Bible, he will help you. Okay, let's pray to Jesus right now. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for all the things that we can do, and we even thank you for the things we don't know that we can do yet. But please help us to remember we can go to your word and get the courage and strength to know that you are always with us and will help us do anything, all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for being such good listeners. And go back to your seats.